Good morning. Happy Sunday, guys. This is Robbie, and you're watching Frecky Fit Wolf. It is Sunday, so that means it's time for another week's weigh-in. This is week number 13. All right, so how's everybody doing? It is Sunday. It is September 1st. August is done. It's a brand new month. It's time to do brand new beginnings. So with that, I do want to ask everybody, how is everybody doing? How are your weigh-ins going? How are your journeys going, your paths going? Let me know. I am really curious. I really want to see how everybody else is doing. Like, I care. And I always tend to just talk about myself, and it feels a little weird. So I want to know how you guys are doing. Let me know. And uh, then now I'm going to talk about myself. It is, like I said, it is Sunday, so it is time for a weigh-in. I'm going to get right into the numbers um, right there. So, as you all know, my starting weight was 376.8. Now my current weight is 351.6. So this week I lost 0 0.6 pounds, and that's a total of 25.2. I'm okay with that. I was hoping for a little bit more. But that is still a win. It's still going down. It is still going the direction I need it to go. And it's one week. It's one week out of however many, what are there, 52 weeks in a year? It's one week. Not every week's going to be phenomenal, but as long as it's not a gain, I'm happy. That is fine with me. So moving on with my mini goals. So first of all, we have my Dragon Con goal. For those of you that are new and don't know, next year I am going to Dragon Con. And if you don't know what that is, it is the largest fan run convention. And it has been a dream of mine for a very, very long time. And it is happening next year. So that is my my year goal to get myself in better shape for that. Um, it happens every day, Labor Day weekend. So it's actually going on right now. And I'm so jealous of friends that are there, but so happy that they are there. They are having the time of their lives. And if you watched the collab yesterday, I mentioned, you know, what I, I'd rather not have to stand in lines. That way, if I ever got a chance to meet David Tennant, I would just walk right up to him. This morning, they posted a, a, a picture of them meeting David Tennant and Catherine Tate. And if you don't know who that is, um, I'm a nerd. Hi. And those are people from Doctor Who. If you don't know what Doctor Who is... We can't be friends. No, I'm joking. But it's it's a television show. I love it. It's it's fantastic. Like this little guy up here, that's from the show. And yeah, it's it's a thing. It's amazing. It's my life. But so anyway, so they got to meet people from there and it is amazing. And so I'm going next year. It'd be awesome if he was there that next year because he's the one person on Doc 2 I have not met. I've said hi to him walking while we were walking by. But I haven't actually got to meet him and get a photo or an autograph or anything like that. Anyway, this is next year, so I have this goal set up for it. So I need I am 88.6 pounds away from that goal. And there's Goldie. And I am not 100% sure, honestly, if I'm going to meet this goal. Because that was set with me averaging 2 pounds a week. Obviously, with a week like this week, where I only lost 0. 0.6 and there's been a few others like that. I don't know how accurate this is going to be. But either way, I'm going to be a lot smaller than I am now. Even if I, instead of 88, say I only lose 50 more pounds. That's still 50 more pounds. I'm cool with that. I will be happy. And so my mini goal is to get 40 pounds off. And that will get me to 336.8 pounds. So with me being at 351.6 right now, that means I have 14.8 more pounds to go. I'm making progress towards them. I am not making as fast progress as I would like, but I'm making progress. So that's what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on the negatives anymore. And speaking of progress, my progress calendar. So this is where I'm showing every month where I am. It is now August is done. So, in August, I lost 5.8 pounds. That, that's cool. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I would like it to be 6 or 8. So, 5.8 is close to 6. That's cool. And, all right. And with that also, you guys remember, I'm starting to give myself weekly goals. And so, here's me checking those goals. Um, 
Drink more water. Check. I have been drinking all the water I can. Well, it's empty, but you know. I'm going to refill after this video. But I've been... That one's good. Check. Pay attention to sodium. Check. I thought that uh, cabbage soup that I made was a lot of sodium, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. In my head, I'm picturing, you know, that's a lot of sodium for one cup, and I'm going to eat way more than one cup. Holy cow. But even with me eating a, a few cups in a day or something like that, it wasn't that bad. So my sodium levels were cool this week. Get more sleep? Check. I've been sleeping fine this week. I, I think I'm finally adjusting to my bed being that way instead of where I'm at right now. So cool. Eat my points. Oops. That is... That's a struggle bus for me, guys. Like, I'm just going to go through real quick and show or read what I had left at, at the end of every day. I get 72 points in a day, and that is a lot. Or 71. And that is a lot. So, yesterday was not horrible. I, uh, I had 5.2 points left for the day. Friday, I had 13 points left for the day. Thursday, I had 28 points left. Wednesday, 6.1. That one wasn't bad, but that was also the day I had McDonald's. Tuesday, I had 10 points left. Monday, I had 12.3 points left. Saturday, I actually, or last Sunday, I actually used all of my points um, because I had pizza. I had Emo's pizza, and it was amazing. And I had fried Provel bites, which were amazing. If you guys don't know Provel, um, apparently it's like a St. Louis thing because when I Google it on here, I don't know it. But, um, or not Google, but when I searched for it on iTrack Bites and even when I had the Weight Watchers, it didn't know it. But um, it's a cheese. It's a cheese that we put on uh, on our Emo's pizza, and you either love it or you hate it. Um, pretty much how it goes. It, there's no either or. Me personally, my taste buds, they enjoy it a lot. And uh, the first time I ever had the the fried uh, the the Provel bites, and I really enjoyed that. It was one of those like it was a deal. You could get a free order of those if you order something. So I was like, cool. Um, what was double cool was the fact that I also had a, a deal for a free pizza, any kind of pizza. So my, you know, happy little fat self bought an or got for free a extra large pizza, which was it like 16 inches or whatever. It was a lot. But either way, I, it was within my points for the day slash week. So it was cool. But that's the only day that I met. I mean, Wednesday or no Thursday when I had 28 points left, it's obnoxious. That's a lot of freaking points left. So I I didn't make a new sheet for it, but um, my main goal focus for this week is the last one. That's the one that I have consistently not been doing is eat my points. So as I went through and looked, you know, I typically have two meals a day. And no matter whether I open or I close at work, I typically will eat when I get, first get to work before clocking in and then eat when I get off work and I get home. So on the days that I close, it'll be a little bit easier because I, I'm gonna try to make myself have a breakfast, then what I normally eat before work, and then something after work, and it'll be easier to, to do. The days that I open, I eat before work, and then I eat when I get off work, but I get off between three and four usually. I get home about four or five. I eat when I first get home, and then I'm just not hungry the rest of the night. And it's always a struggle being like, well, I'm not hungry. I shouldn't eat. But I'm not meeting my points. So I'm, I'm going to test the theory this week that eating your points is highly important. So I am going to do my darndest to get to my point goal every single day. It's just always weird to me that you're trying to lose weight, but I'm not eating enough. Which, I mean, like, you know, when I look at the calories, you know, I'm having, like, less than 200 calories, or less than 2,000 calories. Well, a couple days I, I went over, I went to, like, 25, and this has set my goal for 29.94. I don't really do calories. I do points. Um, but either, even with the calories there, I've never hit the calorie goal either. It's just, it's a lot. And in my head, it's really hard, hard, hard to fathom eat more to lose weight. Like, it makes no sense. But 
this is two weeks in a row that I am struggling with that idea. I mean, last last week I lost, didn't I? Yeah, last week I lost decently. But the week before that, I had gained. So it was like... The only common thing that I am seeing is that, I, on, that I, when I don't have a fantastic week is when I don't eat all my points. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that up this week, and I'm going to make sure I get to them. I'm not exactly sure how, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do that. That is my goal for this week, and go from there. So yeah, uh, let me get over let me get out of those numbers away. But yeah, so that is going to be my goals for the week. And we'll see how that goes. After that, I do need to focus on adding in activity. I have been very, very lazy. And I'm my brain keeps going back and forth thinking about what was different the first time that I lost weight. I never exercised the first time I lost weight. But I was also seven years younger. And uh, so it's a little bit easier. But also, I was a lot more active as far as I had a lot more friends and things to do and I feel like that is a huge factor because now I pretty much I go to work I come home I you know eat whatever I'm going to eat play video games watch tv watch youtube and that's pretty much all that I do I don't do a lot I don't have a lot of friends right now and the ones that I do they're coupled up so I which I'm happy for them but that means you know there's a lot of times where they're with their partners and it's just me. So I think that's a factor. Because even before, like I said, I never exercised. But I was always going somewhere with somebody. Even if we were going out to dinner, that's still moving around. Because going over to the other person, going to wherever we're going to go eat, you know, going in there. It's still a lot more walking than me coming home and sitting. I mean, I don't sit in, my, in this chair all day. But I don't leave my place that often. So, um, sorry, I just got distracted. Those, the sun just got brighter. And, like, <laughs> my face kind of disappeared. The joys of being pale. There, there I am. Hi. But, yeah, so I was a lot more uh, active in that aspect. And since I don't have as many friends now or friends to do things with, let's say, I, I'm not. So I need, I need to figure that out. I need to work on friendships. I need to honestly reconnect with a lot of my friends and be like, hey, you know, let's do something. Um, yeah. So that's, that's another side goal. But this week's main goal is going to be focusing on eating all of my points. And let's see if that really, really makes a difference. Because, like I said, it's so hard to fathom. Because it's not like I'm starving myself. I don't believe my body is in starvation mode. And that's why it's not losing weight. Because I'm still having a lot of calories. I'm having like 2,000 calories. But I'm not, um, not meeting my goal. So yeah. So anyway... If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button if I didn't ramble and bore you too much. And and hit the little bell so you know when I post videos. And please like, please comment, let me know how your journey's going. And if you haven't yet, checked out my Facebook page. It's Frecky Fit Wolf on there. Check out my Instagram. And until Tuesday, when I have something I really, I have a message I really want everybody to hear, I will talk to you then.